This is your KCTV 5 News Update. We are learning new details about a serious crash near 150th and Holmes this morning. Police say a Ford F-150 was heading southbound on Holmes when it crossed the center line and hit an oncoming pickup truck almost head on. Both drivers are in critical condition. Still not clear why that first driver crossed the center line. Pfizer's coronavirus vaccine is now fully approved by the FDA for anyone over age 16. Now that it has the same level of regulation as other vaccines, we might expect more companies, universities, and local governments to make getting the shots mandatory. Though there is hope from some in the healthcare and government world that the federal stamp of approval will be enough to just convince skeptics without mandates becoming necessary. The moment you've been waiting for is here. It's time for you to go get your vaccination and get it today, today. As it stands, about 57% of the total U.S. population has received at least one dose. Pfizer's vaccine will be marketed under the name Cormitinati. Moderna has also applied for this same FDA approval. Analysts say hospitalizing unvaccinated people is costing the U.S. health system billions. A Kaiser Foundation report found the average cost of a COVID hospitalization is 20 grand. The foundation also looked at government data and found that 113,000 hospitalizations could have been prevented in June and July. That means more than $2 billion could have been saved during those two months if those people had been vaccinated. The foundation says these figures are likely an understatement of the entire burden on the health care system. Well, good evening, everyone, and get ready for a hot work week ahead of us. This evening will certainly be all of that. Temperatures still in the 80s past midnight, just briefly dipping down into the mid-70s by Tuesday morning. But the daytime high races back into the upper 90s with heat index values between 105 and 110 degrees. Because of that, heat advisories continue. In fact, it'll continue all the way through 8 p.m. Thursday. And don't expect temperatures to cool after that. Friday is going to be a sizzler as well. Check it on the forecast track, and there isn't much of a threat for rain. Upper Midwest should see plenty of it, but here in Kansas City, very precious few raindrops will be falling here. This shows between now and the end of the day Sunday that we might pick up one one hundredth of an inch. Oh my, it's going to be dry and hot. 98 degrees over the next couple of days, 97s to finish off the work week. Heat index values well over 100 each one of those days. The weekend is still hot, but not quite as sizzling with highs only in the low 90s, with upper 80s expected Monday, which also brings our best chance for rain over the next seven days. Enjoy the next week, everyone. Turn to KCTV 5 News for the latest all day. This is your personalized update because KCTV 5 News stands for you.